Right you guys got another video, why does your internet connection suddenly stop working? The first thing you should be thinking about doing if you're having this issue is basically restarting your router. A simple restart of your router and modem and wait until all of the lights become fully populated can sometimes solve this issue. Your router runs for long periods of time, it has a CPU, RAM, motherboard, uh, operating system and input and output ports on it. These can sometimes be overwhelmed by the amount of devices that you may have connected to that actual router. And maybe the router is now getting a little bit old and it may need to be updated. How long was it before you updated your router? That's the sort of things you need to look at. Pretty much every device has a network connection to it right now and it connects to your router. So your network could be overloaded. Too many devices connected to your Wi-Fi network can overwhelm your router and lead to poor connection or dropout connections. You may have signal interference. Other devices using your Wi-Fi network operating on the same frequency band can cause a problem. Also, having a weak Wi-Fi signal distance from the router with obstacles in the way can cause a lot of problems and have weak signal strength. Mesh networks can solve a lot of this problem. Now, if your router is five or six or seven years old, it may have been able to cope with the amount of devices that you had back then, but now it may be overwhelmed and it may be time to upgrade your router to something that can handle the devices that you're running in your home. That being said, if the router's that old, you may have a hardware issue. A router or a modem can simply malfunction due to its age or other problems. There's also other potential problems like damaged cables, uh, loose or damaged cables connecting to your router and to your PC can cause a problem with connection loss. Also, if you thought about the PC that you're using may also have malware or viruses on it or some sort of malicious software like adware that is running in the background and interfering with your network connection or having redirects or things like that. Outdated drivers can also cause an issue like network drivers. It might be outdated or have an issue or having some sort of a firewall or antivirus program interfering with your connectivity. Incorrect network settings on your PC using wrong DNS servers or something like that can cause an issue as well. Also that something's overlooked is you can check your service status for your router go to your manufacturer's website, click on this, and it will tell you whether there's a problem in your local area. Having an issue with your ISP, your internet service provider, is a common cause. So service outages, your ISP might be experiencing technical difficulties or performing maintenance work in your local area, affecting your connection. Also, another thing is network congestion. During peak usage times, a sudden surge in traffic on your ISP's network can cause connection issues and instability. You can call your ISP and they will tell you whether you live in a heavily saturated area and this can cause a problem at certain times of the day. Sometimes moving your router closer to your computer can actually solve a lot of problems, especially if you're on the further end of the router it may be struggling to connect if you're using a Wi-Fi connection. So you can always check your speed. Also check in the status on your router and see if there's any errors showing up here. It's always good to check these places first. You can check your downstream, your upstream, your configuration and check your network logs. Your network logs will give you information about what's going on on your network. If you're locked out of this area by your ISP, you can always call your ISP and they will run a quick check on your network settings to see whether everything is functioning perfectly fine and whether there's any problems in your local area. Try connecting a laptop into the router itself directly right into the router with another cable to see whether the problems go away because it may be a cable issue or it may be an issue with your actual laptop. It's always advisable to try to do some form of update on your router if it's not been updated for a while there may be firmware updates or software updates for your particular router. You can also even try to do a factory reset of your router or modem. It could be a bug or something like that, and by resetting it, it can fix it. So make sure you've got all your password and details before you start factory resetting your router. Try and limit all of the devices on your network to a smaller amount just to test to see whether the problem goes away. 
Make sure you check for firmware updates for your router and check for software updates on there because this can also iron out a lot of problems as well. Remember, your ISP will know whether your router is faulty or not. They can tell from their side or whether there's a problem in your local area. If you're using a third party router, then obviously you might need to connect to their technical support team. If it's a pretty old router, it might be time to upgrade. But you can see there's a factory reset right here on the third party router, which you can run as well. And there's a bunch of logs inside here where it'll tell you exactly what's going on with your router. Another problem is sticking your router in a, a place where it can't breathe and it gets overheated. Overheating routers can cause a lot of problems. Electronical devices don't like to be overheated and they can malfunction leading to connection drops and also other issues and it can shorten the life of your hardware so make sure you've got plenty of ventilation for your router and make sure it's free of dust and it can actually breathe and that's why it's so difficult when people say i've got a problem with my internet there's so many things that can go wrong and you have to go back to basics and check each and every individual part that we've been talking about and there's plenty more to go through so if you follow these steps, you should be able to isolate where the problem is. If you're using any of those power over Ethernet adapters, try to discard those and try to get a decent connection from your router to your PC. That way you won't have as many problems because I'm not really a fan of those power over Ethernets. Uh, they're OK for certain things like a security camera or something like that, but I really wouldn't go as far as using it on my PC. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.